Julie's new job had put a strain on things with Coach, but neither wanted to admit Glasscott was right. Hey, there's William Penn's on Florence Nightingale. Thanks a lot for the flu shot, Julie. Oh, thank you for giving me this job. Well, I gotta admit, I was wrong about you working with Rick. Seems like it's going great, huh? Couldn't be better. Mm, so lean, so protein. -y. Can you please just eat the bison already? No one here wants to hear your preamble. <laughs> And yet, everyone here wants to tell you that the word is actually preamble. Please, tell her. Pass. I, not. I feel uncomfortable. What's happening right now? Nothing. We're perfect. We haven't even had our first bite. Not even when Rick refused his flu shot because he's being a baby. <laughs> not fighting. Just a fact. And I told you in a non-fighting way that I don't need a flu shot because my bones produce super antibodies, which defeat all forms of illness. Hmm. And I'm not fighting when I say this, but we all know that when Rick is scared, he says crazy things that go against science and reason. I think I speak for everyone when I say, uh-oh. Not fighting, but maybe you could tell Lady to stop busting my balls, since it's bad enough her mother Carol does it, right? Tell her! Not fighting, but tell him that everyone in school hates his shorts! Whoa! Whoa. No one's fighting, even though I hate her ex-boyfriend Josh. And I told you we're just friends. Well, find another friend to play tennis with. It's not okay. Tell her it's just not okay. No one answer. Everyone just go. I'm sorry. We'll work on it so we don't put the faculty in the middle. Agreed. Both to this and the fact that Josh sucks. My office now.